Hello, health enthusiasts. Welcome back to Natural Cures channel. Have you ever wondered if you're drinking water the right way? You might be surprised to learn that there are times when drinking water can actually be harmful to your health. In this video, we'll explore the fascinating world of water and debunk some common myths that have been circulating for years. We'll also reveal when it's best to avoid drinking water and why. So grab a glass of water, or maybe not, and let's dive in. Did you know that a very high percentage of our body is made up of water? It's true. We cannot survive without it. However, there are ideal times when we should not be drinking it, as it can potentially harm our health. While it's rare for water to cause any danger, it's always best to be safe than sorry. Myth number one, drink water before, during, and after intense exercise. One common myth is that you should drink large amounts of water before, during, and after intense exercise. However, this can actually cause discomfort and potentially lead to cramping or gastrointestinal issues. It's best to drink water at least 30 minutes before or after exercise and to sip water during your workout rather than gulping it down. Myth number two, drink water during meals to aid digestion. Another myth is that drinking water during meals can aid digestion. In reality, consuming excessive amounts of water during your meals can dilute your digestive enzymes and stomach acid, which may hinder the digestion process. You need that hydrochloric acid to help get calcium into your bones, digest proteins, and fight bacteria in your stomach, such as H. pylori, which commonly causes ulcers. When we have less acid, it can cause an unequal pressure in our lower esophageal sphincter, leading to gastric reflux. Myth number three, drink water when you're bloated or overly full. Have you ever felt bloated or overly full and thought that drinking water would help? Think again. Drinking water when you're already bloated or overly full can actually exacerbate discomfort and make you feel more uncomfortable. It's best to wait until your body has had time to digest before consuming more water. Myth number four, drink water right before bed. Many people believe that drinking water right before bed is a good idea, but this can actually disrupt your sleep. Consuming a lot of water before bed can lead to more frequent trips to the bathroom during the night, interrupting your precious sleep cycle. It's best to avoid drinking large amounts of water at least an hour before bedtime. Myth number five, thirst means you're already dehydrated. Have you heard that by the time you feel thirsty, it's already too late and you're dehydrated? This is a common myth that has been circulating for years. In reality, our bodies are equipped with the perception of thirst, which signals when we need to drink water. Unless you have a specific medical condition affecting your thirst perception, you can trust your body to tell you when it's time to hydrate. Myth number six, clear urine means you're well hydrated. Another popular myth is that clear urine is a sign of optimal hydration. However, the truth is that your urine should be a slightly yellow or straw color. If your urine is completely clear, it could be a sign that you're overhydrated. On the other hand, if your urine is too dark, it could indicate a liver issue or dehydration. If you notice foam in your urine, it might be a sign of a kidney problem or excessive protein consumption. Myth number seven. Drinking water helps with weight loss. While it's true that drinking water instead of sugary beverages can aid in weight loss, the act of drinking water itself doesn't directly lead to fat burning. The weight loss benefits come from replacing high-calorie drinks with water rather than the water itself having fat-burning properties. Myth number eight, drinking water flushes out toxins. Many people believe that drinking large amounts of water helps flush toxins out of the body. However, most toxins are fat-soluble and are stored in fat cells. Drinking water alone won't effectively remove these toxins. The body has its own natural detoxification systems, such as the liver and kidneys, which work to eliminate toxins from the body. While water is essential for hydration, it's important to remember that electrolytes, such as sodium, play a crucial role as well. Drinking excessive amounts of water without adequate electrolyte intake can lead to a condition called hyponatremia, which is characterized by low sodium levels in the blood. Symptoms of hyponatremia can include swelling, edema in the brain, cramping, 
weakness, headaches, irritability, and even cognitive problems or coma in severe cases. There are certain medical conditions and situations where drinking too much water can be dangerous. If you have heart issues or kidney failure, your doctor will advise you on the appropriate amount of water to consume daily. Additionally, if you're preparing for a medical procedure or test, you may be required to avoid drinking water for a specific period beforehand. Always follow the instructions provided by your healthcare provider. Some medications come with specific instructions regarding fluid intake. Be sure to read the medication label carefully and follow the guidance provided by your healthcare provider. Ignoring these instructions could potentially render the medication ineffective or cause adverse side effects. If you're experiencing nausea or vomiting, drinking large amounts of water can actually make your condition worse. In these situations, it's best to take small sips of water or consult with your healthcare provider for guidance on staying hydrated. So, how much water should you drink? The answer varies from person to person based on factors such as body weight, activity level, climate, and overall health. A general guideline is to drink half your body weight in ounces of water per day. However, it's essential to listen to your body's thirst cues and drink water throughout the day rather than waiting until you feel extremely thirsty. In conclusion, while water is essential for our health and well-being, it's important to be mindful of when and how much we drink. By debunking common myths and understanding the potential risks of overhydration, we can ensure that we're staying hydrated in a safe and healthy way. Remember to listen to your body, follow the guidance of healthcare professionals, and be aware of any specific medical conditions or medications that may affect your fluid intake. Stay hydrated, stay healthy, and always fact check the information you come across regarding water consumption. Thanks for watching and make it a great day.